One of the great new things about the new SIS are the methods that it provides for teachers to find out information about their students and classes. Let's see how you can find out about your classes and the students that are enrolled in those classes in the new SIS. To begin, we'll go to the Students section in the side menu, and when we select on that button, we can go to Student Info. Now, the class that you'll view will be determined by the class that's selected in the header. So if you wish to change classes, simply switch those classes in the header. Once you've determined the class to view, you'll see three buttons below the header, Search Screen, Simple List, and Customize List. The Simple List is where you'll see a list of the students that are enrolled in the selected class. You can view information about an individual student by selecting on their name to view information about that student. And then from the upper right hand corner, you can select more information about the students in that class, or you can use the navigation button to navigate to view the next student alphabetically. When you're ready to go back to your student list, in the footer, select on Back to Student List. The simple list always gives you the same information, including the icons that represent individual student needs and programs that they may be enrolled in. But if you wish to have additional information of your own that you can use, you can select on the customized list option here, and then you'll see additional columns of information that can be included. If you wish to remove some of these columns or add to those columns, select on the Customize Student List option here, and then scroll down through the list of those things that you wish to have appear within your customized list. Anything that has a check mark, as we see with birth date, will appear. To remove an item, simply uncheck it. To add it back in, check it back in. There's an extensive list of information that you can include as part of this student roster. So simply by scrolling through the list and locating those that are most relevant to you and the work that you do with your students, you can select on those options and then select on the Save button in the upper right hand corner so that your customized list meets your instructional needs. One important note, either from a customized list or a simple list, this icon will allow you to download the list of students as a spreadsheet which can be opened in Excel. When you're ready to view individual student information, select on the student's name. By default, your first view of student information will be the Demographics tab, but additional tabs across the top of the screen allow you to find out more information about each of your students. For instance, if you wish to see their class schedule, you'd simply select on the Schedule button. Other information that you may find useful include an absences summary for every student, a list of all their test scores for their Florida State assessments, and when you're ready to go back to the demographics screen, simply select on demographics and you'll return to the base information about each student. Certain fields in the student demographics screen are always displayed by default, and you can scroll down to see that information. If you wish to see additional information about the student, you can choose to do so using the filters on the left-hand side of the screen. For instance, if you wanted to see specific information about the student's ESE status, you would select on the ESE button and additional information that's not displayed in the standard demographic field would be available for you to view. When you wish to return to the standard demographic field, simply select on the student name in the header, and you'll return to the demographic view of the student. If you wish to return to your class listing, remember in the footer, select on Back to Student List. You've now seen some of the new ways that you can access information about your classes and your students in the new SIS, and you should be able to appreciate how much additional information is now available to you as a classroom teacher.